It's another great day with Brian and Tracy. And Rodeo Man with Garth Brooks and Ronnie Dunn. Good to have you along this morning. Hey, uh, the people around the rest of planet Earth, they've got to be jealous. They must be. They must be because according to the World Economic Forum, the best country in the world for travel and tourism? USA! America, number one. Yep, they looked at a whole bunch of factors like roads, hotels, attractions, and how much everything costs and basically how well equipped each country is when it comes to handling tourists. The United States ranked higher in ev- than every other country in the world. Uh, a lot of the European countries did well as well. Uh, in fact, uh, after America, in a distant second place, you've got Spain, Japan, France, Australia, Germany, the United Kingdom, China, Italy, and then Switzerland. Canada, they dropped out of the top 10 and to 11th place. Mexico, they fell six spots to 38th place. I wouldn't mind visiting Spain. That sounds like I have ancestors from there, so that might be kind of fun. But what I love most about America is the Slurpee. Ice cream and Slurpees. The Flurpee? The Slurpee, the Flurpee, the Slurpee. Oh my gosh, the Flurpee. I remember that. (laughs) (laughs) All right. (laughs) So for our overseas listeners listening on the KSAM mobile app... (laughs) Come to America for the Slurpees. There you go. Dylan Carmichael and drinking problems on 101.7 KSAM, your hometown radio station. Carlos hanging out with you on this Tuesday morning. Your Southeast Texas weather forecast coming up. Cole Swindell and Bailey Zimmerman still on the way this hour, too. Well, there's a new survey out there, as there always is, and it asks people if they feel more positive or negative as they age. And 18% of people say their mood has become a lot more positive, positive as they've aged. And 26% more say they're generally more positive. Now, only 5% say that they feel like they're becoming a lot more negative with each passing year, while 19% think they're slowly becoming more of a downer. Now, of those who notice themselves feeling more negative, the average person says they start feeling more sour by the age of 42. The survey also asked those people what they have felt the most irritated about recently, and here are the top 10. Number 10, the TV volume being too loud. See, mine's pretty loud, so my neighbors probably complain. Uh, number nine, music that you don't like. Number eight, the tipping culture of today. Number seven, they're annoyed with social media trends. Number six, customer service, aren't we all? Number five, weather. Number four, crowds. Number three, someone else is driving. Number two, politicians. And the number one thing that people are irritated about recently in that survey, grocery prices. I mean, yeah, they're skyrocketing through the roof. Come on. Dwight Yoakam, little sister, on KSAM. You're listening to the 90s at noon. Your weather forecast coming up. John Michael Montgomery and Patty Lovell is still on the way this hour as well. And it's time for a food story. Kind of a quick one, though. Today is Happy National Hamburger Day. It's National Hamburger Day, and I'm just wishing you a happy National Hamburger Day because, you know, you got to love a good burger. It always is on May 28th, which happens to be the day after Memorial Day this year. And a lot of national chains have a lot of deals going on uh, today and this week. Man, a good burger just sounds good right now. I mean, here's a question for you. Do you like your traditional just, you know, burger patty? Do you like a smash burger? Do you like those thin ones, those steak burgers, if you will? Are you a veggie burger kind of person? If that's what floats your boat, I'm not going to cast judgment. Secretly, though. What's your favorite kind of burger? Think about that throughout your lunch hour here as you listen to 90s at noon. 101.7 KSAM, your hometown radio station. Good afternoon. I'm Big Lynn Edwards. Thanks for being with us today. Uh, your forecast coming up. Boy, I'll tell you what, the power outage in Huntsville. Holy cow. What a storm came through yesterday. Yeah, I know. So we're finally back up and running here uh, at KSAM. Thank goodness for that. Uh, and you know what? A couple things. One, let's say thank you very much uh, to all those crews with Entergy that uh, tried to do their best to get us back on. That's number one. Number two, they are still dealing with some power issues and a bunch of down trees. So if you see any sort of down trees whatsoever or any power lines, please avoid that area. Turn around, okay? Don't go near it. Please don't, all right? Okay, so uh, your forecast come up in just a few moments. And uh, people on social media are talking about things they say they learned embarrassingly late in life. And here are some of the best uh, revelations. Okay, here we go. I never heard someone say Yosemite out loud or Yosemite out loud, right? Uh huh. Because this guy says, you know what? I've been reading it as Yosemite. Yeah, exactly. Oh, how about this? Uh, that pumpkin spice does not actually taste like pumpkin? Of course it doesn't. 
Uh, let's see here. Oh, this is one of my favorites. Uh, that carrot cake is really made with carrots. Uh, this one person said they thought it was just called that because of all the piped little carrots on the top of it. And you ate it around Easter. Chris Young on your hometown radio station, 101.7 KSAM, as we take a look at a pretty interesting story. If you're wondering what the red roofs of the Red Roof Inns are like, well, now, thanks to a Waffle House thief, we get to know. A 31-year-old man in Tennessee named Jonathan Beard was arrested on this past Tuesday, actually just a few days ago, after he allegedly robbed a Waffle House at Knife Point. He assaulted two employees and ran off with $388 in cash. The police were called, but they couldn't find him at first. That's when they got a call from a local Red Roof Inn. Someone there said a guy seemed to be hiding in the building inside the red roof. Kinda. The police found Jonathan hiding in the attic of the hotel, which he asked accessed actually through a utility door, not like anything special or what have you. Jonathan started throwing cash at them, probably the $388 that he stole. Then he started panicking. Sounds like the attic didn't have an actual floor because reports said he fell through the ceiling of three separate hotel rooms. We're assuming that he was stepping through the ceiling, not that he actually fallen down through three floors. So there's at least that. Police nabbed him and charged him with aggravated robbery, burglary, two counts of aggravated assault, and four counts of vandalism. They also recovered 381 of the stolen $388. There are still $7 missing. So in other words, there's a... A, a, a taco salad missing. <laughs> Sorry, but... I guess that's a place to hide. I mean, as you heard, the police weren't even looking in that area. They weren't thinking about it. Until somebody made a call, but... Fall through the roof multiple times. I think you will learn by the first time to not step in pretty much the same weak point. If you see it again, but I guess the criminal just decided to not pay attention? I don't know. I got nothing for you.